Hello from Dendrite Digital in Anaheim. Makers of the Virtue Data Processor. And Zipbits, the website that shows you how to use JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Um, today, I'm uh, still working on the uh, uh, 6502 emulator. Also, uh, the Atari emulator. I'm trying to figure out how the boot sequence happens so I can um, get the other chips created in JavaScript. So here we are. I'd like to thank Javid X9 for his help with the 6502 machine code and getting that to simulate on a on a PC or a Mac. I'd also like to thank David Firth who made Atari emulator. Uh, it's also inspired me to um, continue my work trying to get it all on an FPGA and running it 200 megahertz. <laughs> so here we are. So I've added uh, to my uh, simulator You'll notice this little uh, heart icon down here. That's my that's my little uh, command line. I can change the program counter, the stack pointer, the accumulator, the X register, and the Y register. One thing I can't change right now is the uh, status register. Also, um, I can change the memory, whether it's RAM or ROM. I just type the address and two digit byte, two digit hexadecimal byte, and it, it changes it. Here we go. <laughs> uh, so I can, I can uh, change the pace. I, I can step through it like this. Uh, that's a command space bar. So I can, I can individually do each instruction with a space bar. And then uh, I can uh, adjust the rate from agonizingly slow to a little faster, a little faster, a little faster, a little faster. So uh, I can step through it. At just about any pace I want to do. And then uh, this is the fastest. There we go. And then to stop it, I just command space and it starts over. Mm. So now it's uh, initializing the RAM. And uh, let's see what's going on here. So it's it's uh, checking, uh, comparing Y to zero. So that's something we could do. And then increments uh, memory location five on zero page. And right now that's up to one right now. And then it loads it, loads it into X and compares it to four O which is uh, or 04, no 06, compares it to 06, which is right here. And uh, so if we change uh, 0005 to uh, what, uh, 9A, we got we get there right away here, and then uh, want to change the y. Y equals. Let's do f zero just to do things right here. So, and uh, if we start it moving a little faster, maybe. Uh, 
faster still. Here we go. Oh. Hmm, looks like 9F is where we should be. There we go. And then uh, Y equals F. Boom. That'll speed it up. So we're on our way. <laughs> so clearing uh, page two. Speed that up. Slow it down. <laughs> it's pretty boring anyway. It just uh, does a pattern of uh, initializations. So I'll upload this to the uh, website zip-bits.000webhostapp.com if you can make heads or tails of that. I'll put a link in the, in the uh, comments field. Sure, there's a lot of jumping around in this operating system. I guess to make it compact, you gotta gotta have lots of subroutines. Okay, it looks like it might be stuck. So it's loading D40B. And it's looking for the value 7a. So if we just go d4, 0, b, and put in the value 7a, like that. Now if we uh, uh, start it running. starts doing something new. I think 29E is uh, the console keys. I'm not sure. Maybe I had to put a little music in the background. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not so boring then. Okay. 
9e égale So maybe we ought to be looking at what it's doing a little bit closer, but uh, it seems to have a variety of things that it's up to. So x is 7 currently, now it's 6. I just assume let it let it do its thing because uh, who knows where it's going, what it's up to. So maybe if we get to x equals zero, it's going to do something different. Just going one by one. So uh, I think it goes from 9C40 all the way to 9FFF. And then it starts trying to write zeros over the uh, ROM cartridge, the basic ROM. So I don't know what that's about, but if we uh, speed this up. So now it's into the cartridge and it's uh, trying to write zeros over uh, A0 to whatever number. So. so it's comparing it to BF. So it's trying to write zeros over all of that.
Pretty complicated initialization procedure just to just to come online. I suppose all the hardware needs some pretty specific things going on. Maybe it's timing. Maybe it's just got to time it right, otherwise it fouls up. So Y is going up by one, and then as long as it's less than 80, it uh, continues. So uh, Y Rolls seven F, let's say. It's not writing anything out, it's just a delay loop, looks like. Uh, equals what so it's comparing x to 14 after it gets through with y and uh, 14 we have a zero I think zero one two three four and zero at 14 Branch is not equal, and it goes back up there and starts all up. So, <clears throat> E's got one, or uh, X has one E in it, and uh, it's looking for uh, 14 to equal that. So, uh, if we put into 14 one E, Actually, if we put into 14, yeah, 1e. So uh, let's try that. 2, 0, 0, yeah, 1, 4. 0, 0, 1, 4, 1e. So there it is. 14, 0, 0, 1, 4, so we go, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, E. So when it compares X again,
So now what is it doing? Huh. Compared to FF. Looks like it equals. So it's going to go back. Load A with 2A. Uh, row 2. Row 2, byte A. Branch carry set to 49. Well, I'm just going to let it run a little bit at high speed, see if it does anything new. Doesn't look like it. But uh, here it is. It's uh, looking at 2FC. And that's the keyboard right here. Uh, Load A with 2FC. If we look at the uh, programmer's card, here's 2FC, and it says keyboard code. So it's waiting for a key. You could manually poke in uh, uh, a basic command, maybe, <laughs> and then hit the return and uh, have it have it do something. <laughs> So uh, that might be something for uh, part four. Um, we'll add a uh, a way to enter keys from uh, from the command line. <laughs> we can do it now, but it, it's kind of complicated because you have to uh, get the key code and uh, manually feed it in every time. It'd be easier to just type. So uh, that's. Uh, Coming up in part four. <laughs> Thank you.